morning everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for checking out another video here today. Uh, guys, it's minus 12 and it's Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to everyone that's just tuning in. Uh, this video is gonna be a little bit different. I had originally planned to do a more like kind of uh, detailed and uh, planned out video like I normally do. But this one's gonna kind of have to be on the fly because this week was super busy for me and I'm actually going in right now to write an exam. So, I mean, this weekend was, this whole week was crazy because I had to do uh, a little bit of work with some different doctors that I was getting in, uh, kind of seeing them, shadowing them in their practice. And then we just had even more work than normal because um, this Monday coming up is actually a holiday. So we have to take everything that we would have been doing on that Monday and kind of use it, uh, kind of redistribute it throughout this week. So it was a crazy busy week. Um, but right now I'm going in to write an exam. It's a three hour exam. And I thought I'd talk about it really quick because this is an exam that's totally different than from what we were used to doing in undergrad and then even what a lot of people might be doing at their medical schools. But here at McMaster, there's three different things that we use uh, or that they use to really examine us. And that's going to be, uh, so there's the CAEs, which are done at the end of our units. And then there's uh, the OSCEs, which test our clinical skills um, and, and working with standardized patients and things like that, kind of using the stethoscope, running all the actual physical examinations. And then there's these things today, which are the PPIs. Now the PPIs are a very interesting type of test uh, or exam. It's three hours long and 180 multiple choice questions. And I'm in first year medical school here. Um, McMaster has a three year program. It's an accelerated program where we go right through the summer. And uh, basically on these PPI days, they're done three times a year. The first years are gonna write them. The second years are gonna write them and the third years are gonna write them. That's pretty much the exact same test between the three people, the, the three groups of people. Um, and we're answering the same questions. Now the PPI is designed to kind of replicate the LMCC exams that come at the end of medical school before we, well actually they're written once we've already matched into residency. But those are the exams that really give us uh, the ability to practice medicine. They're like our licensing exams. So it's expected then that the first years and the second year specifically, the one they write these exams, they, uh, they're not gonna be able to answer a lot of these questions. And in that sense, I think the class average for the first one that we wrote earlier this year was like 10%. The class average for this exam was 10%. And uh, what you're trying to do when you write these exams is two things. One, the university wants to see that you are gradually getting better as these exams progress, as you've done more and more of them, because it shows that you're learning and you're on track uh, to learning everything that you know. But another thing that you wanna do is you wanna stay above the statistical average for your class. And the reason is, is because once you write the exam to give you your score back, if you fall within a certain percentage below the class average, that shows the university that you're not really on track with their learning objectives. And you might require a little bit of help or you might actually need to go in uh, and talk to the whole academic um, wing and the advisors. And that's something you don't wanna do if you could avoid it. So yeah, I'm here, I'm ready to go. Uh, my thought, I'm just about to pull into the university now. Uh, and my thoughts about this exam, I mean, you know, I've written a ton of exams in my day, you know, from the MCAT to all the exams in undergrad and everything else that we had to do. But I don't really think that that little sense of nervousness ever goes away. Um, but I kind of like it. I, I don't know. I know it's going to sound a little bit weird, guys, but hopefully some of you could relate. I've gotten to this point now where, yes, when I go into an exam, it's a little bit nerve wracking. Um, but I get really, really competitive with myself more than anyone else as to uh, what I know and how well I can answer these questions. So that's kind of the plan for today. I know I've been on top of all of my studies recently. Um, and I actually did really well on the first PPI, this assessment. So I I'm really excited to see how I'm able to uh, improve my score from the first one. So I'm definitely gonna let you guys know. And then, uh, yeah, that'll be my first of two dates today, right? My first date's gonna be with my medical uh, school exam. And then my second date will be with my girlfriend later on tonight. I just got to the school now. Uh, let's quickly talk about what's gonna be on these PPIs. 
just in general, right? Uh, in the three years that you're here in medical school, you learn a ton of things. It's not gonna be just straightforward questions like uh, label parts of the body or what disease causes this or that. Um, they're gonna be exams that are going to, this exam is gonna have questions that are going to be preparing you to actually practice medicine. So it's gonna be things like, uh, what is the best treatment option for a patient displaying these symptoms? And a lot of application questions, and even a lot of like those, uh, like how do you manage patients properly? How do you, uh, you know, someone comes in with this social issue, who could you refer out to? What other resources are available to you? Uh, so it's definitely one of the more intense exams that we're gonna have to do here, uh, but I'm super excited for it. Oh man, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. All right guys, and I'm done the exam now. That was, uh, in a weird way, it was actually kind of fun, but uh, definitely a super challenging exam. There were questions on there that I had never even seen before, terms that I had never even heard of before. Um, and in a way, it's super impressive, maybe a little bit intimidating to think that in three years, of me being here, I'm gonna have to know all that, or hopefully I'm gonna know all of that, because that's kind of stuff that we're expected to know before we really get into the whole residency um, part. But uh, yeah, guys, I think I gave it my best shot. Uh, like I said before, I think I was well, well prepared for it. And even the things that I had never really seen before, I really tried my hardest to work through them uh, and kind of, kind of sound them out as best I could. Uh, kind of process of illumination, cross out some of the, the more, uh, the less intuitive answers. So now I'm just on my way home. Uh, I gotta pack my things to, to go home after because now we have our clinical skills in about an hour. So I gotta get my stethoscope, get all that stuff ready. Uh, and then I'm gonna pack up some of my clothes and uh, I'm going home for the weekend. So I'm looking forward to that. Hello. Oh, can't really keep it hey, How's it going? Yeah. Hi, Chief. You're on YouTube right now, is that okay? Huh? You're on YouTube right hey, now. Hey, how come? Oh my god. <laughs> Mama had a long day. Why? I'm in an exam today. How did it go? I hope it went okay. I hope it went okay. Good. Yeah. You're having a nice hair day. All right guys, and that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. I'm back home now. This is my first time filming a video here in my room uh, for the last little bit, actually. It's been a while, um, but it's good to be home on a weekend. I really like coming back, saying hi to everyone. I um, hope you guys liked the video. I'm going out tonight, cause and then tomorrow I'm gonna take the entire day off, kind of refuel the batteries a little bit, and then get back to working and studying and editing on Sunday. So we'll see you guys in the next one. If you have any questions, just put them in the comment section below. Everyone take it easy.